Thank you for taking the time to learn more about Quote Valet Web. We designed Quote Valet Web to give you insight and visibility into your sales activities from any web device like your phone, tablet, or PC. We rely heavily on both QuoteWorks and Quote Valet internally here at Aspire. We have many years of data in Quote Valet, and when we turned on Quote Valet Web, we instantly had major visibility over our quoting and sales processes across the board from all sales reps, including a sales rep comparative matrix showing relative performance. Seeing top dollar quotes, converted orders, number of quotes sent, accepted and paid, sales rep and customer comments, number of customer views on documents, and much more. Quote Valet Web is designed with features in mind for what sales reps need to be successful and what business owners and sales managers need to run their businesses. To log into Quote Valet Web, you can use any web enabled device like your laptop, tablet, or even smartphone and navigate to quotevalet.com forward slash web. You enter your Quote Valet tenant account number and your unified QuoteWorks credentials. If you do not know what your Quote Valet account number is, you can click on the Launch Quote Valet Web button from the Quote Valet dashboard from within QuoteWorks and your tenant account number and username will be pre-filled on the Quote Valet Web login. Let's log into Quote Valet Web as a sales rep. As a sales rep, I need to know what is going on with my quotes and proposals. Let's start with the inbox. The inbox is equivalent to the Quote Valet inbox within QuoteWorks, but completely mobile. I can easily see what documents need attention, like first views, customer comments posted, quotes that are accepted, and more. I can quickly see both the sales rep and customer facing views on Quote Valet Classic, as well as viewing all activity history with the document. With my summary, I now have reporting and drill down functionality to give me an overview of all of my quotes and orders over a given period. As the QuoteWorks administrator, you can limit what your sales reps can see in this mode. By default, your sales reps will only have access to yesterday and today's data. It will not have the dollar amount totals. I will show you how to administer Quote Valley Web later in this presentation. With peer reviews, I can explore information about documents that are currently being collaborated on. I can easily view a document's activity history, make comments about it, send notes to the rep who owns the document, and more. Quote Valley Web adheres to the rights of QuoteWorks. You can only see documents and sales reps data that you have access to. With Find, I can quickly locate and view any Quote Valley document by searching by the document number, name, or who I quoted to. This is important because I now have access to any quotes that I have delivered via Quote Valley Web from anywhere. I also have the ability to quickly launch Quote Valley Mobile right from Quote Valley Web to create quotes on my laptop or tablet. Now, let's log into Quote Valley Web as a company executive. As business owners, it is difficult to weed through the volume of transactions that occur in our companies and then turn that into meaningful, actionable information. We designed our executive summary to do just that. With the executive summary, I now have complete visibility over all of my company's quotes and sales. This view is similar to the My Summary we used as the sales rep, but includes all of the sales reps and periods that I have the rights to view. Business owners at a glance for any particular period, whether that be today, this week, or this month, can see how many quotes were sent out, how many quotes were accepted and paid for. There is now visibility over comments posted by both customers and sales reps. From the executive summary and other views, I have the ability to send note for each document. This provides me with the opportunity to review my sales reps quotes and send a note to the rep like, hey, great job on that, or hey, don't do that again. This is both practical and useful. As part of the executive summary, I can also see the comparative analysis. With this, I can compare the relative performance of my sales reps over different periods based on quotes, orders, dollar amounts, and the actual quantities of those quotes and orders. In addition to peer reviews, I also have access to approvals. Before Quote Valley Web, you would rely solely on emails to notify you what documents required your approval. You would have no idea if any other approvers had already approved those documents. Now you only see the documents that are actually awaiting your review and approval. As an executive or Quote Valet admin, I also have access to the Quote Valet web usage monitor. 
I can see which of my employees are using Quote Valet, along with what activities they are using in Quote Valet and from what IP addresses. The last part of Quote Valet Web is the status board. With the status board, you have important information about your sales team, including priority notifications and metrics from the day, week, month, and year. We have this status board on a 47-inch monitor in our sales cube area as a motivator for the team and also for executives and managers. The whole sales team can see it. As I walk into, into the sales area, I immediately know how many quotes have been sent, accepted, and viewed. I also know if there are quotes that need attention and which reps need to address them. The status board shows priority notifications, meaning any quotes that are accepted, payments that are made, expired quotes viewed by customers, comments that are posted, and more. These are things that we need to act on quickly. Our recommendation if you are planning to use this functionality is to create a new login called status board and restrict the rights so the user can only see the status board in Quote Valley Web. While on the status board, the screen will automatically refresh every minute and the user will not be logged out of Quote Valley Web. The great thing about Quote Valley Web is that your team can start using it right away. Quote Valley Web uses the same unified login that you use with QuoteWorks and also adheres to the document's user access rights that you have already set up in QuoteWorks. By default, all users, including users with master rights, will only be able to see the My Summary, Find, Inbox, Peer Reviews, and Approvals with access to only the Today and Yesterday periods. So they will not be able to see the Executive Summary out of the box. We do not activate all Quote Valet Web features by default because with them any user could very quickly gain access to all the sales numbers being quoted and ordered by your company through Quote Valet. What controls your user's ability to see the various elements of Quote Valley Web are access rights, which are set up and controlled by your master installation of QuoteWorks. Changes to Quote Valley Web access rights cannot be made from a remote installation of QuoteWorks. To edit a user's Quote Valley Web access rights, go to the Access tab of the user's maintenance window. To help you find the Quote Valley Web access rights, just type in Quote Valley Web in the Spotlight search you will see all of the access rights pertaining to Quote Valley Web in bold. Generally, you will want to give your sales manager or executives the following access rights to have full access to the executive summary. To, so, uh, to show the executive summary, choose Can Use Quote Valley Web Executive Summary. To show dollar totals, choose the Can See Totals in Quote Valley Web Executive Summary. To show more than just yesterday and today date ranges on the executive summary, choose the appropriate periods like this week, last week, all the way through this year. For your sales reps, you will probably want to give them more access on the My Summary. To give them access to see the dollar totals, choose Can See Totals in Quote Valley Web My Summary. You may also want to give them access to more periods like this month. If you do not want to give your users access to My Summary or even Quote Valet Web itself, you can restrict it by selecting the corresponding Cannot Use option. If you are setting up a status board user, make sure to choose the Can Use Quote Valet Web status board. If you are enabling Quote Valet Web in an existing QuoteWorks environment, you can use the Apply To tab to copy the access rights to similar users or groups. Please remember that by doing this, you will be overriding all of the existing user group, uh, group's access rights. When you close the user maintenance, all of the rights that you just modified will be synchronized with Quote Valet. The last setup area enables you to add IP address restrictions for both Quote Valet Web and also for the status board. If you are familiar with firewall restrictions on the router, this will be very familiar. If you want to be very restrictive, you can start off by denying everyone for every IP address and then start allowing more IP addresses for specific users or groups. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about Quote Valley Web and how it will benefit your company. Quote Valley Web is included with your existing Quote Valley subscription at no additional charge. If you have questions about implementing Quote Valley Web in your organization, please feel free to give us a call at 
248-1481.